Is N26 a scam? Is it not a scam? Do I recommend it or do I not recommend it? Now, guys, in this video, I'm going to be calling customer service and asking them all the hard questions. Like, for example, why is your card have a monthly fee when in reality you only talk about like hey it's all about free banking and all this fancy stuff on top of that guys just to clarify something these cards are not credit cards they're debit cards so in reality you're paying a premium for a debit card that has like the features of a credit card when in reality you can just get a credit card and it's very strange to me so i'm gonna be calling customer service in today and asking them all the hard questions and then that way at the end of the video i'm also gonna tell you like hey should you just stick to like Vero, maybe just stick to like um, SoFi, or should you just bounce into like N26 and actually sign up with them? And I'm going to answer all those questions in this video, so stick around to actually find out exactly what we find out from the customer service call. And on top of that, guys, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tommy Bryson. I'm an accountant, and I post videos on YouTube every single day. So subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. On top of that, guys, I want to ask you guys a question. What has you so excited about the N26 card? Is it the features? Is it the card design? Comment down below. Let me know before I start the video because I want to see how many people's opinion actually changes before I give you all the real information. So comment down below. Let me know. And while you're at it, hit the like button. Really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow a ton. Now, the first question I want to answer is, well, tell me what is N26 about and what is the company about and why should I even care about it, okay? And basically, it's a bank, an online bank, that wants to start something very different, right? And here it is, it's like a very big mission. And they basically wanna be like a bank that's worldwide, a global bank that connects everyone, that allows everyone to have the same access to everything else, no matter the currency, no matter the language, it doesn't really matter where you're from. And it sounds like a very cool idea until you start associating fees, currencies, charges, regulations, laws, and all that fancy stuff. On top of that, they also got funded for around $500 million and started back in 2013. So now we have a background on the company. Let's call customer service and ask them all the hard questions. Let's find out if it's a good deal or a bad deal. Because to be honest, guys, by what I see, I kind of like it, to be honest, but I just don't like the entire, like, oh my gosh, like $10 for this, $20 for this. It doesn't make any sense to me, okay? So... Let's call in right now and find out exactly what's going on. But comment down below and let me know. Do you think a global bank is a good idea? Or do you think it can lead to a monopoly and that's never really that good? So comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let's call in right now. By the way, while I set up this entire phone here, I just want to say one last thing. And it's that, hey, you know, they're supposed to be like, um, they had a lot of issues with customer service back in the past. So maybe they fixed it. Maybe they didn't. But we're going to find out today exactly if they did or if they didn't. Okay. Welcome to N26. Thank you for your call. One of our specialists will be with you shortly. Okay, so automatically, no menu board, just straight to a customer service agent. We're going to wait like around five minutes. Anything beyond that is just like back customer service. One minute. Okay, so first of all, I waited for around three minutes. I got no response. I'm going to call in again. But I do want to clarify something, guys. I have seen a lot of reviews about people that talk about this all the time, and it's like this, okay? Well, they have a program, Tommy, where if you sign up and you pay like around $15 every single month, you get like priority when it comes to customer service. And this is the problem with this type of stuff, right? Because you're a customer, you have money in the account, and you can't get someone on the, on the phone because you're not like priority. It doesn't really make any sense, right? You want to make sure if you have like a customer and they're putting money into your account, everyone gets equal priority. So that's something that I don't like. I've never waited like more than five minutes for anyone. So I'm gonna call in again. If they don't answer, I'm gonna go over all the questions here and I'm gonna go with what they say online, you know? Online they say like, hey, Tommy, I've waited 50 minutes like for a customer service agent, never got a response. Hey, Tommy, I did like the entire like chat like through online, never got a response, I've been waiting, you know? I've been through like four different people every time I do like the chat, no one knows what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm gonna try again to call in. Again, customer service times are from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time, Sunday to Monday. Yeah, Sunday to Monday. So today it's actually Friday, and guess what, it's 10 a.m. And no one is asking the phone yet. So let's call in. Let's give it another try. If it doesn't work out, then we just continue on with the review. One of our specialists will be with you shortly. Thank you for calling in 26. Can I start by getting your first and last name? Hey, my name is um, Tommy Bryson. How are you? Hey, thanks, oh, thanks for the question. I'm, I'm just calling in today to ask you a few questions about the entire like service. Oh, absolutely. Awesome. And you guys are located in like in like the U.S. now, right? Uh, yes, we uh, we have an office in New York. In New York, and I'm told. Uh, and are you in the are you in the U.S. right now, or are you like in the in the U.K.? Oh, uh, me personally, yes, I work in the New York office. In the New York office, okay, awesome. 
And when it comes to like um customer service and calls, because I called in a few minutes ago and it was kind of like um I, I would like for like like ten minutes. That is that like normal? Or is it like um more like maybe like today was like a fast day? So well, we are still in our beta phase, so we are working on a lot of things. We do plan on having our customer service um available, and I know a wait like that is uh, something I'm definitely gonna go ahead and take that feedback and okay. pass it upwards so that we know because we don't want our customers waiting like that. Okay, awesome. And the customer service is from like. 9 a.m. to like 9 p.m. Eastern, or is it like 24/7? So uh, it is um, Eastern time from okay. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's correct. Okay, awesome. And what what are some of the requirements to like actually like open up an account and stuff like that? Oh, to open up accounts, yes, uh, our requirements are you have to have a uh, a U.S. residence. You need to have an actual resident in the U.S. because okay. that's where we're going to ship the card to. Uh, you have to be over 18 years of age. Okay. So you need to be an adult. Uh, we don't offer any kind of joint accounts. Uh, okay. We do need uh, all of our account holders have to have provide a social security number um, because it's okay. going to be an account. And um, you'll have to have a compatible smartphone with a U.S. number for okay. our um, SMS two-factor authentication codes for our pairing device. Okay, awesome. And do you guys have, like, any fees with the account? Oh, I'd be happy to go over our fee structure with you. Give me just one moment. I want to make sure I get it correct. So we don't have any kind of monthly service fees. So it's okay. not going to cost you anything monthly. Um, I do want to go ahead and start out by saying right now in the U.S., we only offer our standard accounts. Um, this may be subject to change in the future. Uh, we don't have any information about that right now. But for the standard account, we don't have any monthly service fees. Uh, we don't require any kind of monthly minimum balance fees. Okay. Um, we do, however, um, have ATM fees for domestic ATMs. Uh, the first two ATM transactions per month, that will be free for you on okay. our end, but the ATM owner fees may still apply. The subcharge. Or they will still apply, of course. And then, of course, uh, with our international ATM fees, it's going to be $2. Um, plus, there will also be a uh, 2% um, conversion for the, in or the international or excuse, a 2% upcharge for conversion on international ATMs, and then, of course, the ATM owner's fees will still apply there. So there is going to be that, you know, fees with withdrawing internationally. Okay. Uh, we also do, if you use from a bank teller um, or if it's an act so safe, you can take your card and just withdraw cash from that bank, and there won't be any charge there. Okay. Uh, we have a $5 card replacement charge. Um, we have a $30 express charge for an express shipping replacement okay. card. Uh, currently, we don't have any charge for insufficient funds or overdrafts along those lines. Um, but if there's any kind of legal fees, processing fees, levies, there's going to be a $100 charge. Okay, so that's like for all of the charges of right now associated. Okay. And one question I do have when it comes to the fees, for example, do you, are you guys like just working with like um, ASUS and their ATM like um, structure, or is it kind of like... Like, do you guys have like a like a like maybe like do you guys work with anyone else that does like an ATM network? So the ATMs you can use any ATM that accepts Visa, uh, but we are currently working with Axos. Axos and um, Axos so works with all points or no? For those accounts. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, excuse me? Does Axos work with all point, like with the all point ATMs, or is it just like the Axos? Does Axos have like, like physical branches? Axos should have physical branches now. In regards to um, N26, they do house the accounts, but they are separately in yeah. N26 accounts. Uh, more information about that can be found on our support page in the okay. legal section. Okay. And then you know, the um, user agreement and things like that are there. So you okay. want to get that information there. I don't want to misquote it. All right, that's fine. And so, for example, just to put like a, like a, a figure on it, like, how many ATMs, like, can we access for free? Mm. Oh, so it's the, uh, the two per month. I don't have any other information in regards to that. Okay. Um, in the future, we plan there is going to be a, uh, an ATM locator feature in the app. Okay. Um, that'll allow you to find ATMs that are closed, that you'll be able to have those, um, you know, know where the fees are or not. Um, but that's something that's going to be one of those future features, okay. and I don't have an ATM one that's going to be available either. Okay. So, for example, if I go like, to, an, to an Axos um, ATM partner at ATM, then I can get it, like, for free, right? So, no. For the Axos, it's going to be that non-ATM cash withdrawal with the card at the bank teller. Okay. And that will be free. Okay. And I see now. And, for example, I noticed that you guys have, like, a, like a replacement fee for, like, five bucks. And if I'm traveling, right, because it's like, it's like a travel card, if I'm traveling to, like, Europe, for example, and I lose my card there, like, do you guys, like, ship me one out, like, ASAP, or is it just I have to, I have to wait until I get back to the U.S.? 
So right now we are limited with our shipping. We only ship to U.S. residential addresses. Okay. And um, and it's one of those things we want to make sure that the address on the account is where we ship it to. Yes, um, sure we want to make sure we only ship it to account holders. Okay, I understand that. And for example, do you guys have um like um interest on the check-ins accounts or like a savings accounts portion of it, or is it just like is it just like the check-ins? And then that's about it. So right now, none of the accounts are interest-bearing accounts. We don't offer any kind of savings accounts. We only have that standard account. Um, but you will have an account number and a routing number. You can use it for you know direct okay. deposits and things like that. Okay. But uh, we do offer these sub accounts called Spaces in your app, which will allow you to designate you know areas for money. It's like you know you can put money towards one thing or another. Yeah. And it'll, be able to within the app and you can switch it back and forth and you'll be able to manage it from the app okay and then those sub accounts when i put like for example if i'm saving for a trip and that's going to take like a whole year like those accounts don't like bear any interest whatsoever either so uh so yes there would be no interest um okay. whatsoever in yeah. the space or the general account yeah because that's a little weird because i know like um you guys since you guys are, like with asos and asos offers like one of the highest savings accounts rates i just thought like you guys would like offer like some rate also you know is that you think that might come in the future or something like that? So, like I said, that's not necessarily um, something I have information about. And okay. right now, we are only offering the standard account. Um, but what we are doing is we're collecting feedback. Okay. And so, I will go ahead and um, you know submit that feedback internally. You know that you have been inquiring about interest-bearing accounts, okay. and uh, you know if that's a feature they want to add in the future. You know, at least you know we can give them that feedback. Yeah. Okay. And for example, I know I, I know that we we only have like the standard standard accounts here in the U.S., but when it comes to, like, um, the the other accounts, just to clarify, those are debit cards, right, not, like, credit cards. Uh, so, yeah, so in the U.S., with the standard accounts, they are just, like, debit cards. Yeah. Now they are, um, you know, with Visa, but in our European version, they have a much different options. They have a lot of different types of accounts, and so they, and it is something that N26 U.S. is planning on expanding to okay. in the future to offer as many features as they can. Uh, we just don't have any kind of, you know, ETA on when these features are going to be rolled out or what they are. We're just doing collecting a lot of feedback right now. Okay, and can I still apply to those cards? Like, um, if I'm a U.S. Re like resident, uh, like um, in Europe, can I apply to those things, or is it just like limited to over there? So the the U.S. accounts and the European accounts are separate. They're, um, and it's because there's you know very much there's very different banking regulations. Um, so if you qualify for a European account, you can apply, but they have each one respectively based on which country they are in, have different requirements. Okay. Um, but if you, if someone did qualify to both have a U.S. account and a European account, uh, they okay. can absolutely do so. Okay. And for example, I noticed you guys have like a, like a budgeting feature on the app, like where you can categorize everything. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So that is currently not a feature of the U.S. app. It is a feature of the European app. Like I said, uh, right now what we do have is we have our spaces and okay. then we just have our account. And it is it is just a um, a really better product because we're we're getting it out there and we're collecting information so that we can you know really build on it. Okay. Uh, but right now we have the ability to you can put uh, create spaces, you can name them, uh, you know based on whatever you're trying to save for. If you're saving for a car, uh, if you're saving for you know something. You can't bear interest on it, right? You can't get any interest. It sucks. Amount or a goal you want to save towards. And, you know, we have some customizable options there. Okay. And, uh, like I said, we're really, you know, collecting that information, getting that feedback. Okay. But do you guys... what our customers want and what we can do for them. Okay. But do we in the U.S., do we still have, like, the text notification? So, anytime I spend something, I can, like, you know, like, like it, it tells me automatically? Oh, so, yes. There are push notifications if you have the pair device. Awesome. Awesome. Um, that'll let you know whenever the card was used. Okay. And can I still change my PIN and, all, and, lock the, and freeze the card and all that fancy stuff, like, through the app also? Uh, yes, that is correct. You can do that. Okay, awesome. So the only thing that's being limited um, from from the from the UK version is what exactly? Like I said, it's well, there's completely different banking regulations, yeah. just you know, based on you know the money and the spending and the transfers, etc. Yeah. Um, as well as the fee structure is different. And then right now, the US account is uh, very limited in features. We have you know a standard account, standard card, standard spaces. Whereas you know in the European market, they have the option for the metal card. They have you know various different okay. features, options to get you know lines of credits, things okay. like that, we don't offer right now. Okay, I, I, I see. So some of those cards over there in the, in the UK, they do have, like, lines of credits, and then eventually, with the regulations here in the US, we will be able to have, like, access to those products also here? You think that in the future, right? So that 
is the goal to be able to offer as many features as we can okay. to our U.S. customers. Awesome. Awesome. And for example, when it comes to like um cash deposits, like how do I deposit money into the into, into the account? Like can I do like cash deposits or do I have to link like a, like another bank to your bank to then send money from that bank to your bank? So at this time, the only way to deposit funds into the account is with a bank to bank ACH trans transaction. Okay. Um, now we are looking to add other methods in the future. Okay. Um, but right now, it should have to just send an ACH from a third party bank into okay. your N26 account. Awesome. Either direct deposit or you can send it just directly from another bank account. Okay, awesome. And I did notice you guys offer like um like two day early paycheck. Is that, is that true? So the way that um, we process our ACH is we process them as they as they're received. Okay. And so some customers are receiving their ACHs um, credited to their accounts as soon as we receive them or okay. within the one to two business days. Um, where Whereas, you know, other customers might see their checks a couple of a day or so sooner. Some customers are still seeing their checks on their regular date. It really depends on when those uh, Okay, so when it's deposited, I understand. And for example, I didn't notice you said like you can do like bank-to-bank -bank transfer, but I was wondering, can you do like Zelle, um, Cash App, Venmo, or all, all that fancy stuff, or like, no, not yet? So right now we don't support things like Apple Pay or um, like any kind of like third-party account linking software. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we have seen some customers been able to uh, transfer funds from their PayPal or Cash App okay, to PayPal. their accounts. Um, we've Cash seen App. that, but it's not, you know, it doesn't, you know, we're still, like, you know, collecting that feedback and, you know, finding out, you know, how we're able to give, you know, as many features as possible to all of our customers. Okay. But like I said, it's a better, you know, so we're really just collecting a lot of feedback. Okay, awesome. And just to clarify again, um, the ATMs, there's no like, there's only like two reimbursements every month, right? So that is correct, the first two. Okay, and when it comes to withdrawing money from those ATMs, like, is there a limit? So the limits will actually, you'll be able to set them on your account. Um, so if you wanted your limits to be lower or smaller, and I can go over the maximum limits monthly and daily if you'd like. What's the, what's the maximum? Oh, you said it can? Oh, yes, yeah, so you, um, customers are able to set the limits okay. um, if they don't want the ATM withdrawals to but, be but so you much yourself so as low. But you, you yourself um, as a bank, do you guys have any limits whatsoever when it comes to like um, how much money I can withdraw? Or is it like we set it by ourselves and that's it? Oh, so yes, I'd, uh, I'd be happy to go over that. Um, in regards to the maximum limits per day yeah. um, for an ATM withdrawal, it's uh, going to be $1,500 per day within a 24-hour uh, calendar day. Okay. And so if that, and now customers have the option, if they wanted to set that to 500 or, or less or 200 or 1,000, they'd be able to. Okay. Uh, we have a $10,000 monthly limit uh, for ATM withdrawals. Now, over-the-counter withdrawals at banks, at any, you know, if you an access banks or any, any bank that participates, participates or processes Visa cards, okay. it's going to be a $5,000 daily limit, and that's calendar day, okay. and a $30,000 monthly limit. Um, and so that'd be the amount of cash that can be withdrawn. Now, with, um, as far as sending an ACH, we don't have limits on um, any kind of direct deposits that are sent or direct debits that are taken. Okay. Okay, that sounds really fair to be honest. That sounds pretty cool. And um, when it comes to um, like signing up for the entire like debit card, is there like a like a hard inquiry or like a soft inquiry? So I um, I don't have that information right now, as so I don't want to tell you wrong. Um, I do know we have a uh, verification process. Yeah. It takes only about two minutes while you're signing up, okay. and it'll let you know uh, relatively quickly. Okay. Um, and then, you know, if the, in the event that the system, you know, tells you, you know, you're not able to get the card or the account, you can always give us a call at customer service and we can look into it and awesome. we've been able to uh, process people's verifications awesome. um, afterwards. If, uh, you know, if there weren't any kind of issue, we've been able to still give people accounts. Awesome. And, and, and we're going to, we're going to be going on a trip, right? Um, in the, in the next few weeks, I was wondering, can I use my card overseas and, and what's the what? Do you guys have like a like a like a fee when it comes to that? Like using it over over, over overseas? So um, what's great about the N26 account is uh, from your app you'll be able to uh, set your card where you'll be able to either have it where you can spend it abroad or not. So you can turn it off and on. Awesome. Uh, so if you're not you know overseas, you can just turn it off. Or if you are, you can always turn it on. Yeah. Um, it's a you can do point of sales now. 
when any kind of point of sale transaction, N26 isn't going to try to do anything, but Visa will have a conversion rate. Um, so that will be right? based on Visa, but yeah. you will be able to spend it, um, just swipe the card overseas, and you'll be able to use the card. Okay, so it sounds like you guys don't charge anything, but Visa does. So there will be a conversion, and that will be you know part of Visa. Now, like I said, that information is available in the user agreement and on the yeah. section. I just don't want to you know misquote it. Okay, awesome. And do you guys like have like a like a like a zero um, fraud policy like with um with Visa also? So we do have to follow um, certain liability processes. Okay. And so, like I said, all that information is available in the in the um the user agreement and on the legal section. Now, in the event that there is some kind of fraud, you can always give us a call here at customer service, and we'll be able to assist you and you know get those uh you know charges processed and we can, as long as we can get all the okay. documentation uh, what we do is we send it to our specialist and they'll be able to review it okay awesome and in the in the upcoming because it sounds right now like everything is like on, on beta mode like in the upcoming months like what features do you see like personally like working in the op by the way how big is the team for like the customer service like the reps just to, to clarify so we are uh, we are rapidly expanding um, and so I can't even you know you know they're hiring people every single day so I can't awesome. you know give you a, a set number um, but you know it is we do have you know every intention of having you know customer service available for all of our customers so that we can help everyone that's great and and, and right now um, what features do you see like that are gonna be worked on like maybe like in the future like in the upcoming months because right now it's just like on beta mode so what features do we expect so like I said yeah you, that, that is correct. Right now, we are on beta mode, and uh, we do. I don't actually have any, um, you know, features I can speak to you about. Yeah. Uh, but we have a blog, awesome. and uh, as soon as these features are released, you know, that information is going to be on that blog. You know, so everyone will be able to know like what what we're doing, what new things are coming out, what kind of features okay. we're providing for our customers. And so, you know, be on the lookout. Check out that blog in the next coming months yeah. as we roll out these new features. Awesome. Thank you so much. And for example, because my wife is crazy about this type of stuff when it comes to our information like do you guys like share with third parties or anything like that or is it just like you guys like keep it to yourselves so the user agreement has a whole section on privacy um now we do have to follow all of the um you know regular laws that come there that deal with you know privacy and we were very very strict on privacy especially here at customer service okay. um but as far as the um very specifics yeah. you really do need to I, and i would always encourage you to read that user agreement yeah. um, because i don't want to tell you wrong all right, thank you so much. You've done such a great job. Thank you so much. I'm going to pass this information on to my wife and see if we can sign up. By the way, it takes like seven days to get the card, just to clarify, or is there a, a delay with it? Hey, so, uh, yeah, I have happy to explain. So, as soon as you sign up and you um, you sign into the app for the first time, yeah. um, it'll tell you, you know, it's once the account's been approved, and, like, you will receive an email within a few moments that'll let you know the account's been set up, and then you'll get an email letting you know the card's coming out. Um, yeah. being shipped and then it takes generally about five to seven business days okay. to receive that card uh, you know depending on local mail it, it is shipped through USPS yeah. uh, so you know sometimes it might be a little bit longer but we do estimate about five to seven business days okay all right thank you so much sounds fair okay I'll be honest the first thing is this customer service great you might disagree with me here but she did a great job answering all the questions and she pointed me to the great place which is basically like hey go to the user agreement there's a lot of information over there so i have no complaints yet when it comes to customer service but i do want to say something everything about this car sounds like you know we're just starting out what the heck my, my chair is moving everything about the service sounds like hey we're just starting out now we're trying to figure things out we're not there yet and to be honest if you're not there yet, I don't want to be there either, okay? Because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense for me. For example, one of my favorite features about this card is the spaces. So every time, whenever you sign into it, you can set space. You can be like, hey, this is for this, this is for this, this is for this. And you save money for like, you know, a vacation, a fun account, a tax account. Whatever you want to do, you can you can save it and separate it, right? Which I really like. But I don't like the feature that, hey, you can't earn any money on this. Another thing I don't like, okay? I don't really like this at all. Um, ATM deposits. You can't really deposit anything. You can't really withdraw anything without being charged a fee because they don't really have an ATM network. On top of that, to me, it sounds like this. You know, Tommy, we're trying to create a product for like everyone out there, but we just don't know what they want. But you do know what they want because, for example, let's compare this card to another card that I really like. It's SoFi. SoFi is a card that gives you... 2.10 or 2.5% right now on an interest rate when you actually have the money deposited inside there But they also have unlimited ATM reimbursements and they also have whenever you go overseas You get like no international fees or anything like that. So amazing there, but 
it's like this, guys. I'm going to tell you my final thoughts right here. But before I tell you, comment down below and let me know. What do you think about the customer service call? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Comment down below. Let me know. Here are my final thoughts, guys. It sounds to me like this is a very good product that's just not there just yet, okay? And same thing as this, guys. It sounds to me also that even though when they get all those new products from the UK and they copy all those like credit lines and credit cards or debit cards with like all the fees and blah, 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 it's still going to be... Uh, a subpar product I don't like it still why because I don't want to pay money to have a card that gives me access to things that I can just get somewhere else here's my recommendations to the company make the card a carbon copy but better than SoFi okay offer interest rates offer like free ATM reimbursements offer help get the customer service by the way I love the customer service in line but only once they offer it if I didn't call back in I would have probably been in the line for like the past like 18 minutes okay because again Last time, I read a lot of reviews about this. They had people waiting online for around 15 minutes. When I waited, when I called in first, I got like waited on for like three minutes. Then I got waited on for a minute that I got put through. And the service agent was really good. I like the rep. They're expanding a lot. And here's my thing. I know you guys are expanding, but make sure you guys focus on quality also. Make sure you focus on a quality product overall. So overall, I like this product so much. And I wish I could register for it, but right now it just doesn't make any sense for me. On top of that... My final, final thought, because I keep saying this, but I just don't log out, is, guys, unlimited ATMs, no fees whatsoever. Erase all those fees with the, if you lose your car, but no, erase everything. Don't give anyone an excuse to not to get the card, okay? Erase all those fees. And you have, like, a great product, honestly. But right now, do I recommend it? Do I not recommend it? Right now, I don't recommend nothing. I don't recommend it at all. Why? Because I told you before. It's in beta mode. It's not a good product yet. And until it is, doesn't make any sense. By the way, one thing about this is this, right? They're backed by ASOS Bank that has a very, very high interest rate right now. And here's my thought. What are you doing with all the money that's being deposited into account? Are you getting money? Are you getting interest on the account? Probably, yes. Yeah. So you're getting all this money, all this interest, but we don't get anything from it, okay? So I don't like that either. Transparency is key. And right now, transparency is not where you're at. So again, guys. Comment down below. Let me know if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you think I'm going crazy, if you think I'm going insane. Comment down below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and like the video. Really appreciate it. Help the channel grow a ton, honestly. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video, which again is every single day. If you want to talk to me one on one, uno a uno, just DM me on Instagram with ideas or with questions. Whatever you have, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. But before I go, Click this video right here to watch a new video or click this link right here with my face to actually subscribe to the channel on mobile. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Thanks for watching and peace.